so hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you the overview and the morphology of bald eagle creek hecras 2d4 flood modeling so now let's get started so the bald eagle creek is located in the central pennsylvania usa and it is a, a major tributary to the west uh, branch the susquehanna river and uh, it's rewound as one of the pennsylvanians uh, premier class a wild trout water and a keystone select stocked uh, trout water making it uh, uh, the destination for anglers so its uh, watershed is a part of uh, the chesapeake uh, bay drainage uh, basin and uh, you can able see th uh, from this below map here so uh, this is the bald eagle creek uh, you can able see so which represents the the bald eagle creek here so you can able see this waterway here which represents the bald eagle creek and uh, towards the towards the north uh, west uh, west of this uh, bald eagle creek we have the great island and uh, towards the north uh, eastern part we have uh, the bald eagle valley trail so you can able see this board uh, you can able see this uh, map here so we have the so here you can able to visualize the blue line here which represents the the bald eagle creek and towards the the eastern part we have the fishing creek here and towards the north uh, west of the uh, northwest we have a uh, susquehanna river so you can able to see this different creeks uh, which is uh, uh, which is uh, available in this map here and towards uh, this map here you can able to see the bald uh, eagle creek and towards the north uh, west we have this marsh creek and towards the southern part we have the foster joseph uh, sayers lake and also uh, in this map here below the bald eagle creek we have this uh, spring creek you can able to see that so now let us take a look at the physical and the geographical characteristics of the bald eagle creek so uh, starting with the uh, its length approximately 55 miles around uh, 89 kilometers the source so the source is uh, near the village of martha furness in the northeastern uh, the center county so in the roth rock uh, state forest similarly the mouth is uh, which is uh, located the uh, mouth is uh, flows to, into the west branch of uh, the Susquehanna River at the town of the Lock uh, Haven in the Clinton uh, County, and the major tributaries of this uh, Bald Eagle Creek, which includes the the Spring Creek, Fishing Creek, these uh, major tributaries, feeding, uh, which includes the Spring Creek, Fishing Creek, Beach Creek, and Logan uh, Branch. And the watershed area, so it approximately of around 533 square miles, so which accounts for around 1,380 square kilometers of uh, area. And the geology and valley, so uh, the Bald Eagle Creek it flows through the ridges and valleys of Appalachian, so its valley is known as a Bald Eagle Valley. So uh, next, uh, let us take a look at the geographical and geological setting. So the Bald Eagle Creek is located in the central Pennsylvania, USA. So it flows through the ridges and valleys province of the Palanchian mountain. So the source of this creek is originates in the northeast uh, center county near the village of Martha Furness in Bald Eagle uh, State Forest. And the mouth of this Bald Eagle confluences uh, with the west branches of uh, the Susquehanna River at the city of uh, Lock Haven, Clinton County. And the total length of this Bald Eagle Creek is appro approximately 55 miles, that is 89 kilometers. And the drainage area is around 533 square miles, around 1,380 uh, square kilometers of area. A significant tributary is the Spring Creek, which uh, contributes a substantial portion of the base flow. The geological setting of the Bald Eagle Creek is uh, Creek's path is profoundly influenced by the underlying geology. So it flows within the Bald Eagle Valley, which is a classic uh, Appalachian synclinal valley. Uh, the valley is underlined by more erodible shales and sandstone like the Ordovician Bald Eagle Formation while the surrounding ridges are composed of more resistant sandstone example uh, the Tuscarora Formation so this differential erosion creates the characteristic uh, ridge and valley topography so the next uh, we're going to take a look at the stratigraphic sequence of this particular study region so uh, this particular figure which shows stratigraphic column showing the lower and middle Devonian formation and the blue which indicates the limestone and the grey and the black which indicates the shale and the yellow which indicates the sandstone 
and this different shells which indicates the different uh, the paleo organism that is the uh, shell fossils so this cell which indicates the different uh, shell fossils and the figure 2 which shows the geologic mapping a uh, map uh, showing the river roots and the stop so uh, for example the stop one here which indicates uh, this particular sequence stop one the so starting with the blue which indicates the limestone and the gray and black which indicates the shale and followed by we have limestone and followed by we have the shale uh, that is the shale and again we have limestone and this top one is the need more so we can able to see this particular one here so the green color which indicates the need more here and the stop two which indicates this particular formation that is marcellus so you can able to see this marcellus stop two so the entire sequence is of uh, gray and black shale so you can clearly able to see that so which belongs to this particular period that is uh, the devonian so the devonian is classified into upper middle and lower so this era formation falls in middle and lower and the next is a stop 3 so the stop 3 here so which falls in this particular formation called main tango so you can able to see this formation so this set of sequence which indicates the shale here which is uh, in, uh, gray and as well as black color and last is stop 4 so stop 4 which indicates this particular formation that is the so this particular formation here so uh, which indicates the stop 4 here so which belongs to both Silurian as well as the Devonian period. So in the upper layer which is of Devonian and the lower it is of Silurian. So it is of a limestone uh, formation here. And last we have this old port. So you can able to see this old port which, it, uh, which is in yellow in color. So the top layer it is of uh, sandstone and the bottom we have this uh, the shale, uh, shale here. And uh, the last here the figure which shows us the the aerial photography showing the river roots here so you can able to see and the uh, source is uh, this particular author Rose Anna so the source is given here and next is uh, this is the this is our study region that is Bald Eagle Creek so you can able to see this particular fold here so you can able to see this fold here in this uh, study region so this is Bald Eagle Creek so bald eagle crease lies in the top of this uh, uh, fold area here you can able to see this is bald eagle creek and this is the fold here we have several folds here so you can able to see from this uh, imagery and the key morphological features so the creek has a high uh, high uh, the sinuosity the ratio of channel length to channel valley is greater than 1.5 especially in its uh, middle uh, reaches next is the pool uh, riffle sequence so the channel exhibits a predictable sequence of pool so the deep and slow moving areas and often on the outside of the meanders and the riffles uh, which indicates shallow and fast moving areas with the gravel uh, substrate often between the meanders and this sequence is a uh, crucial for aquatic habitat and next is a flood plain so the creek has a well defined flood plain that stores the water and sediment during the high flow events and naturally reducing the flood severity downstream so this is the satellite imagery showing the bald eagle creek here the course so the flow direction it is from the southwest to uh, towards the the north uh, eastern by northeast so uh, this is the upstream area and this is the downstream area so now well, let us talk about the river flow direction here so the direction of the river flow is from southwest uh, to the northeast and the creek originates in the highlands of Center County and flows generally uh, towards uh, northeast uh, northeastwards through the Bald Eagle Valley and uh, past towns like uh, Milesburg and finally empties into the west uh, branch of uh, so it passed through the towns like Milesburg and Belfont and finally empties into the west uh, west branch of uh, the Susquehanna River at the Lock Haven. So the ultimate base level for the Bald Eagle Creek is the west branch of uh, Swasquehanna River uh, which uh, itself uh, flows toward to the Chesapeake uh, Bay and uh, Atlantic Ocean. And uh, this is the image which showing the monitoring locations uh, which is indicated in this location symbol and active uh, monitoring locations are indicated in this red color and followed by the upstream flow lines are indicated in this set of color here so in this uh, color and the downstream flow lines are indicated in this set of colors you can able to see in this uh, second image here more clearly
you can able to see and the upstream basin is highlighted in this sort of color here so this is the upstream basin and likewise you can able to see in this uh, image too the bald eagle creek and the upstream basin and the downstream uh, flow line and the upstream flow line which is ind indicated in this color and next uh, currently we are visual visualizing the bald eagle creek uh, Sp spring creek at uh, milesburg pennsylvania and this is the gauge height in feet so you can able to see the variation the gauge height from the for this entire year from november to uh, may 2025 so you can able to see the significant variation in the gauge height at the different period of the month that is the different period of the year you can able to see here so highest gauge height been observed in March 2025 here so you can able to see that and the flow uh, river flow direction so the direction of river flows from the southwest to to uh, northeast so the arrow which indicates the direction of uh, river flow here so you can able to see this red arrow which indicates the di river flow direction here so you can able to see the river flows and uh, you can able to say uh, uh, several meanders here so that's the uh, so the direction of river flows from uh, southwest to northeast and next is the flow hydrology and uh, regime so the flow regime which uh, which states that it's the perennial uh, river so it flows uh, year round uh, year around uh, and the rain uh, rainfall and snow melt driven and seasonality is a high flow so uh, during uh, late winter and early uh, spring so the peak flows occurs uh, due to the snow melt and frequent rainfall so the creek can experience a uh, bank full and over bank uh, flooding and uh, low flow was uh, is typically observed in late summer and early fall so the base flow is maintained by groundwater discharge from the surrounding valleys and aquifers during the drought the water level can become low and last is the flashness so the watershed can respond uh, relatively quickly to uh, heavy uh, rainfall events leading to a rapid uh, rise in water level especially in more developed uh, areas so you can able to see these images which shows the bald eagle creek images here so currently we are visualizing the bald eagle creek images and next is the human impacts and the modifications so the natural uh, morphology and flow have been significantly altered by human activities so for example urbanization the town have increased uh, impervious surfaces such as the roads and parking lot so this leads to an increased surface runoff and higher peak flow and more severe uh, flooding downstream so it also reduces the groundwater recharge and last is the dam and uh, impoundments so while not heavily dammed uh, they are small impoundments and historic uh, mill dams that uh, locally disrupts the sediment transport and alters the flow regime and uh, historic uh, mill dams that locally uh, disrupts the sediment transport and alters the flow regime next is the channel modification so some sections particularly near the infrastructure have been channelized straightened and hard done uh, with uh, the rip rap to protect the bridges and road so this simplifies the channel and destroys the habitat and can increase the flow velocity transferring transferring the flood energy downstream and last is the agriculture so the historical and current agricultural practices in the valley contributes to the nutrient uh, loading like nitrogen and phosphorus uh, and can increase the sediment input uh, if the riparian buffer are lacking so next is the ecological significance despite the, the modification the bald eagle creek remains an ecologically more important system so designated has a high quality cold water fishery and a class a wild uh, trout uh, stream in many stretches supporting the natural uh, reproducing populations of brown and brook trout so its riparian zone provides a critical habitat for birds mammals and uh, amphibians and helps stabilize the banks and filter the pollutants and last is the pool uh, riffel uh, morphology which provides a diverse habitat for the aquatic insects like uh, micro invertebrates which are key food uh, source for the fishes so in this video i have shown you the overview and the morphology of bald eagle creek for using hecras uh, hecras 2d4 of a flood modeling so in the next video i'm going to show you how to create a, a channel line in hecras 2d4 flood modeling so thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like